What is going on guys? It's Real Touch GML here back with another game maker tutorial and today is going to be a continuation on our cool juicy platformer game that we are creating. So today as you can see by the title we are adding enemies into our game. So every game needs conflict and the best way to do that is by putting in you know the standard enemy that you know walks around and uh... <clears throat> And you know you don't want to hit them. So here we have. I, I just coded a very basic enemy that just you know moves back and forth on this platform. Now the main mechanic for this is we're gonna kind of go Mario style. So you know if you hit if you hit the enemy, you get you spawn back at the uh, at your starting position. But you can jump on top of the enemy to kill it. All right. So that's a just you know a cool little feature. And again, you know you hit them and you get brought back to the start there. So yeah and then uh, here let's just kill this one there you go and then you get to the flag but you may notice yeah it's kinda cool but it's not all that it can be you know like you know you just kinda smash them and that's it there's no like cool effects that happen or anything like that so that's what we're gonna be adding into today so right off the bat just I'm just gonna kinda show you how this is coded real quick um, create event they start off going any random direction one or negative one uh, it's important that it's one and negative because if you were to duplicate my code here and put say two for example you would get some mess up stuff so one and negative one there you go uh, I'll, I could show you how to fix that but that's not really the main point in this tutorial so here we go if plays free you know this is how he actually or the enemy kind of goes back and forth and then here is the code for if place meeting xy minus 16 obj player instance destroy so it detects if the player is above its head destroy it so they're not actually ever colliding it just it's it's so close of a call that it just looks like it alright and then in our player here I just have collision with obj enemy we just get brought back to our start positions x and y which is a variable created in the create event start pos x equals x start pos y equals y so that that just gets triggered right off the bat so the, our enemy is never actually getting destroyed it is just getting moved which is more efficient than destroying it and from like this list and then putting it back onto it um, and then step event I don't think there's anything there okay so let's start off by first off when we hit or bounce off of our enemy Let's make our player bounce. So in here, in our step event for our uh, enemy, we can instance destroy our enemy, but we can also say with obj player. Um, and then we can put the brackets here. And we can say like vspeed minus equals 10. Or 5. We'll do 5. So with that bit of code alone, we go ahead and run it. And we get to our enemy here. Oh, that actually, I think we should put equals negative five. There we go. Instead of minus equaling because that it was, um, our VSP was already going downwards and it was just kind of equaling out when we, uh, when we did that. So we go ahead and do that, pow. So we get a nice little bounce and it looks cleaner. So let's go 10. You know, and this is not such sophisticated code. It's just kind of giving you guys an idea on things that you can do to actually upgrade your game's uh, quality. So there you go. So now it kind of bounces off of the enemy. So I've got another idea. Instead of having the enemy get destroyed, you know, let's actually have the enemy bounce up with it and kind of fall down while it's spinning. You know, uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So instead of instance destroy, we're gonna have to set up a couple more variables here, and we're gonna have to set up state, and we're gonna equal to zero. So if state equals zero, then it's alive. If state equals one, then it's dead. We can do true and false, but I just I don't know. I just like these numbers number values better. So we're just gonna set state to equal one if it gets hit. And we're also going to say if place meaning blah, 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 and state equals zero. Same up here. And state equals zero. So basically, it's only going to do this stuff if state equals zero. 
And then for this, of course, we're going to need to set v speed to equal negative 10. And we'll do this 15. And let's set, actually, no, in here we can say if state equals 1, direction plus equals 5 or something. And here we can say point. Um, actually, no, we could say image angle equals direction. There we go. And then we can also say in here, if state equals one, gravity equals uh, one. There we go. And then if y is greater than or equal to room height, instance destroy because we don't want it going on forever so let me just go and see if that works and then I can explain it a little bit more let's go ahead and run it and here we go we got our slidey guy whoa okay mm -hmm. something went wrong let's see here uh, and state equals zero do 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 State equals zero. If y is greater than or equal to, yep, that should be good. V speed equals negative 10. All right, so I think I know what the problem was. Actually, when we're changing this h speed value, it's actually changing the direction that we're facing. So we can't actually use that direction variable. We're just gonna use a variable that we created, which is dir. And in the create event, just create that real quick. I'm pretty sure this is a problem. I haven't even tested it yet, so it might not even be the problem, which would be a little embarrassing. But all right, let's go ahead and try that now. Here we go. Okay, it looks to be good. Uh, okay, there we go. So now let's jump on it. Ah, there we go, okay. Um, Let's go ahead and set the depth to negative one just so it goes in front of the block. And let's go ahead and test that again because that actually looked pretty cool. So if we go ahead and we run over here, and as you can see, oh, we die by the enemy. But if we jump on it, boom, it rotates and it flies off the screen there. So that is pretty cool looking if you ask me. So let's go and do it for this one. Very cool. So now we just went ahead and went with a very simple mechanic and we turned it into that glorious piece of art. Scooby like, go and subscribe. Let's go ahead and try for 50 likes this time. Let me know your support. Follow me on Twitter, link in the description, and I will, of course, see you guys next time. Peace.